Hi, this is Christy at the West Regional Branch of the Mobile Public Library. And for today's hand lettering, we're going to work on bouncy font. This is a great skill for every beginner to have in their toolbox. Let's get started. All right, we're going to begin with just a regular brush lettering version of the word hi. So start at your baseline. Remember to keep those thin strokes as you go up thick as you come down and with our brush lettering everything usually remains on the same baseline like such. Alright when we go to bouncy lettering something has to go down below the baseline. In this case it's going to be this part of the H. So we begin just like we normally would Get that good loop. And if you remember from our basic worksheets, that's the ascending loop. Now drag this down below the baseline. Come back up to the baseline to finish off your eye. And you're done. And it's just that simple to create a little bit of movement in your lettering. Let's try that one more time. So here's our basic version with that ascending loop and the curves that we have, the compound curves. And all of these can be found in the link below the video, the worksheets that we have for you that you can print off. All right, so now we're gonna start out the same way, but remember when you begin that arch to come way down below that baseline and pull it back up to create the eye. And it's just that simple. All right, let's try the word hello. So this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, but we can do it. So let's start out with our basic, same ascending loop, compound curves. And then we go into another ascending loop to create the L's. And of course our oval to create our O come around with its tail and finish off your E. All right, so we're gonna do this just as we did over here. So the first step is gonna be to make sure that that H drops below the baseline. Come back up for your E, and you're actually gonna go just a little bit above where your baseline would be. And we're gonna start that ascending loop, and it wants to drop down so that you're even with the H. Come back up to go into your next ascending loop for your other L, and it stays below the baseline as well. Now come back up even with your E to do your O. And now you have a bouncy version of hello. Let's try that again. Here's our basic, our loops and our compound curves. Remember always to keep the difference between the thin and the thick strokes. Thin is on the tip, thick is on the side, and you pull it down. And remember to always rotate your brush or your pen between every few strokes. All right, so let's try to bounce it this time. You're going to come down, droop just below the baseline. Then up a little higher above the imaginary baseline. Ascending loop, drop it down. Then we're going to mimic that. You can keep it a little above. That creates more movement. Have your O on the same plane as your E, and you're finished. All right, let's try one more word today. Let's do love. Now you start out the same way with a nice simple ascending loop. Bring the tail around to create your oval into a simple, ordinary V, and we're finished. Now we want to bounce it in the same way we did this. So we're going to start out with a little more of a flourish, just give some excitement and movement. Come way above that baseline, droop down to make sure you're even with that L and then up in the air for the E. All right, so let's try that again. Here's our basic our ascending loop, our oval. 
come into our V, just a down stroke, up stroke, and then around to create the E. So let's bounce this one. And you can even make it more exaggerated if you like. It's up to you as to how much of a difference you want in the stroke. So see, this one's going to come down a little longer, be a little bigger than the one we did before. All right, and that's how you create bouncy font or bouncy lettering. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.